Bold's England is one of the UK's leading fruit producers. We supply just over 20,000 tonnes of fruit, predominantly to UK retailers every year. As the head of a fifth generation fruit farming business, um, I say it's my responsibility to help sort the climate crisis out. If we do not sort this climate crisis out, um, I will not have a planet to hand down to the next generation, let alone a business. As with all companies, we want to innovate and being innovative is part of our future, it's part of our development and there's a limit to how much we can access um, innovators and the Gravity Challenge gives us an opportunity to reach out to hundreds and hundreds of people. You know, we can say, we have this problem, can you find us a solution? And that's exactly what we did here. So organisations like Barnsley comes to the Gravity Challenge to set out exactly what their business problem is. Through the Gravity Challenge we then put that open call out to startups across several different geographies to rise to that challenge and through a process of development, relationship building and dissecting it with a whole range of experts from the, from the space sector. We've arrived at this opportunity to um, test Triconomy's solution in the field and we are thrilled that you know, this relationship with Barnsley is going from strength to strength. So we're a climate change impact business really, um, but what we mean specifically is, is a carbon removal business. Treeconomy is developing data science and remote sensing tools that will help us to quantify how much carbon is actually present and being stored in a variety of ecosystems. Orchards are a fantastic ecosystem and people always think, oh, well, but it's farming and it's so much more than that. They're biodiverse, they're rich in carbon and the, the ability to use space technology to understand that better and help it develop and become more sustainable is you know, it is at the cutting edge. We saw that the Gravity Challenge um, was, was set up and, and coming to the UK, and this one with Bardsley looked fantastic because here we are saying we've got a, a technology that can calculate and, and track uh, carbon storage above ground, and here's, here's Bardsley England saying, we need people to help us calculate carbon stored in our orchards above ground. So we've got a drone in the air today, uh, a survey grade drone, um, and it'll be collecting two different forms of data for us. The first is LIDAR, light detection and ranging, effectively a, a laser scan of the, the Blue House Orchard here. And then the, the second is photogrammetry. So we're taking lots and lots of photographs from different angles to try to reconstruct in three dimensions the, the structure of the orchard. Um, both of those techniques will help us to get an idea of the actual volume uh, of, the, of the above ground portion of the orchard and allow us to derive an estimate of how much carbon is actually there. When it comes to climate change and sustainability, we're not just saying we're doing. We want to be in a position where we are getting out into the field and testing new emerging technologies. Because we are in an environment right now where lots of companies are starting to set targets, but a target is only so good if, you, if, you, if you're actually making progress and step changes towards meeting them. You have to make sure that you're actually delivering on these. And we believe in Deloitte Ventures, a really key part of that is through technology adoption. What is 100% true is that no company can tackle these ambitions in isolation. It involves actually developing products and solutions together with your customers, together with your suppliers, to actually start to make scalable and um, successful solutions happen. We jumped the chance to work with Deloitte Ventures because we recognise that they have an incredible network and a great brand that would bring amazing people on this journey with us. If you want to truly make a difference, become more profitable, become a more climate friendly business, you have to have these partnerships because no one can do it by themselves. Companies and individuals are trying to find their place in this massive challenge. And I'm sure Barsley would agree that you know, the best time to plant a tree or an idea was 20 years ago. The next best time is today.